Well, let's face it, if I'm doing a let's look at of a game that is on Xbox Live Indie Games, it's either remarkably bad or remarkably good. And I'm pleased to say that DLC Quest is actually remarkably good. This is a game from Going Loud Studios, been available on Xbox Live Indie Games for a while now. I would say maybe close to a year, at least six months. I think it came out like around the same time. Uh, that I got back from Korea. It's also available on the PC on Desura. Unfortunately, no Steam release right now. But DLC Quest is basically a $1 joke. And I don't mean that in a disparaging way. This is a satire of a lot of, like, modern indie game... Or, not indie game. A lot of modern, like, AAA game practices. Particularly with selling, like, on-disc DLC and stuff like that. It just makes a lot of jokes at the expense of the video game industry. Let's put it that way. And I'm not going to read too far into this. I don't think this is, like, a treatise on what's wrong with video gaming today. I think it's just funny. And I think we should start a new game so you can see what's going on here. And it, the joke will become immediately clear. And I don't want to show off too much of the game. Because it's actually quite short. I just beat it in a single sitting around, you know, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, so I don't want to show off too much of the joke, because that's kind of the entire point of the game. The gameplay is very much secondary to the concept of the game. But, I think you should get an idea for what's going on here. So we will start a new game. And as we scroll down here, you will see, uh, basically the motivations they're going to set up for us. Uh, the, you know, the pieces are going to be set in motion for how this game is going to play out. There's us. There's the princess. There's our horse. Where's the arrow for the horse? The horse is of pivotal importance. There's our bad guy, very kind of Genghis Khan looking bad guy. Drops a smoke bomb and then runs away. This is our motivation, of course. And the arrow comes up as if on cue. Solid Snake has been discovered. So this is basically saying, welcome to DLC Quest. I'm just going to skip by the uh, opening text there. But basically, when the game first starts, we have literally no powers. So you can see here, like, as I walk, there's, like, not even any animation. I can only move to the right. Like, I can't even move to the left. There's no music. And I can't jump. But as we collect coins, you can see I collect four coins right away. Then I can talk to this guy. He'll tell us that Princess MacGuffin has been stolen. Very princess-like name, MacGuffin. And of course, satirizing the region or the reasons here that we might want revenge on some guy. Pissed in the town's water supply. He killed your uncle. You need revenge. But anyway, we are going to buy some DLC from this guy. What do we need? We'll probably pick up the movement pack. So you can see here they're selling like literally everything. So one of them is the audio pack that gives you both music and sound effects, which is pretty welcome because right now it sounds pretty barren. You have to buy uh, the ability to move. You have to buy animations so your player doesn't look like he's just like skating across an air hockey table. And you even have to buy the pause menu. But for now, we can only afford the movement pack. But this is going to give us the ability to jump. We'll be able to pick up five coins here. Buy some more DLC. Let's buy the audio pack. So now we have some music and this feels like an actual video game. It's funny, when I first started playing this, and there was no music and no, like, walking animation. I actually thought, like, the first thought was like, well, that sucks, but it's still better than most Xbox Live indie games already. <laughs> Sounds shitty, but oh well. So we'll move on here. Continue collecting coins. I'm gonna ignore those signs for now. Want to, uh, ooh, well, we might as well go up there and get that treasure. So basically this is uh, satirizing, like, the way you progress in, in a normal game to a certain extent. Or maybe not satirizing, but emulating the way you... Uh, progress in normal game. Obviously, Horse Armor DLC, taking a crack at Oblivion there. Um, so we have to, like, buy upgrades to allow us to progress throughout the game. So from here, we're just gonna buy our last two. Obviously, we're not gonna buy that Horse Armor anytime soon, although it can be important towards the end of the game. Buy Animation Pack and the Pause Menu. So now we can actually pause the game, and we have a running and jumping animation, which is a nice touch, I guess. Now what we need to do is get a sword, but first... Let's pick up these coins. We'll talk to this guy. Need a sword to chop down some bushes? You don't know that yet, but yes, you do. You'll need to sharpen it on this grindstone. About 10,000 turns should do it, I think. So we come over here, use grindstone, and I'm, I'm not even sure if we can just continue mashing the X button here and maybe it'll eventually work. But for now, what we can do instead is by the time is money pack, if we go over here. Fortunately, this is 20 coins, which we can't afford, but this is gonna give us 10 times, or one, sorry, 1,000 times, not 10 times, I believe, uh, grinding speed, so we can actually do that without breaking our, you know, entire body. So let's go through here. Oh, we can't get to those coins just yet. Just need 10 more. Not gonna talk to the shepherd right now. Can't even destroy those, but we can do some quick jumping. Like, this is the gameplay of the entire game right here. Gameplay-wise, it's just, like, jumping and collecting coins. So, that's what I mean when I say this game is, like, a $1 joke. Because, like, the gameplay is competent, but you're never going to be like, Oh, yeah, this is the next great platformer. Like, this is the next braid. Uh, 
it, it's more like if you think of a game like uh, I made a game with zombies in it. Like that's a joke wrapped in a twin stick shooter. And the twin stick shooting is not particularly strong, but because the game is also hilarious, uh, it works, at least for, you know, the price point that it's for sale at. And considering that both of these games are a dollar, uh, I think it fits. So what we're gonna do now, we have 31 coins. We're gonna head back and buy some more DLC. This is very much the early part of the game, but again, I don't want to show too, too much. So go here, back for more, some more DLC. Look at the time is money pack. This will allow us to get our sword and progress a little bit further. Oh, I don't want to deal with this guy. There we go. This is going to be way easier now. We have our real sword. Now we can go talk to the shepherd down here. Oh, I didn't mean to kill him. Sen, I hope nobody attacks my sheep. I really like this is maybe my favorite joke in the entire game right here. The player's like, I hadn't even thought of it. And then the shepherd's just like, you're the player. You're the shepherd. I don't know. Something tells me that might even be like... Uh, an in-joke for Mass Effect fans? I don't know. Uh, maybe not, though. I can't say that with any kind of authority. I just like the way that he's he's recognizing. Like, they're both kind of recognizing the part that they play in this video game right now. Like, the, the Shepard's, like, player. Like, don't do it, man. I never even had a choice. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody, because it barely makes sense to me. So we are going to, I guess, just continue exploring here to get some coins. Oh, right, I totally forgot that occasionally there are these random encounters. Well, one random encounter anyway. That's not even really random. So we've got Owen Wilson here. He's like, sorry, man. Every time I encounter somebody, the screen does that Final Fantasy nonsense. Unfortunately, he is not going to let us pass, which is unfortunately... What we're going to have to do next is pick up this Psychological Warfare pack. Which is a pre-order only exclusive from GameStop. This is a damn shame. I bought it at Best Buy, but it did come with the soundtrack when I bought it that way, so that's good. So we'll talk to this shopkeeper again. We need $50, unfortunately, to get this Psychological Warfare pack. So we're going to move onwards to the right a little bit. Just continuing to collect coins. Unfortunately, I can't access that without double jump. We'll murder these sheep. It's got to be an achievement for murdering all those, right? Oh, I think I missed a coin up there. So, I forgot how much the Psychological Warfare pack was. Is it 30 or 50? I, I like this too. Dead end. No, really. Just turn back. Surprise! It's a secret. The game really, like, lampshades a lot of its secrets. Like, it'll put really, really noticeable, like, geographical or geological figures right next to its shortcuts. Much in the way that, uh, you know, a lot of games do. So, let's come up through here. Of course, this is uh, doing it all tongue-in-cheek. Some more coins. And we're up to 61. I think that's enough. I don't think we need to do 75. There we got this guy. He's saying, hey, I'm not really useful now. But soon I will be. I'm trying to skip through the dialogue a little bit and just give you the gist of it. Because I'd rather, if you wanted to buy the game, you know, see it yourself. Experience it yourself. I don't want to ruin too, too much of it for you. I think we can do the Psychological Warfare pack now. We talk to this guy. Yeah, it's only 50. No, there's definitely more than 30. Now, the horse armor might seem like a joke, but I assure you that it actually does play into the game to a certain extent. It's kind of like one of the one of the final punchlines, but I won't say much more than that to spoil it. If you're not familiar, like, the horse armor is probably the most infamous example of DLC. Like, maybe you're, you weren't a gamer back in, like, 2005 when the 360 had just come out and Oblivion was one of its launch titles. Well, not launch titles. It came out, like, a couple months after. Uh, and then... It was one of the first examples of like 360 DLC it was this $5 armor pack that just gave armor to your horse and it was kind of like uh, like a, a people thought it was like a death knell for the gaming industry or at least for downloadable content that people were selling a horse armor and nothing else for $5 hopefully I got that story straight all right so this guy is way envious of our sweet ass pre-order DLC here so we're gonna give that to him and in turn, he will let us pass and access this new area. I almost would call this game like a Metroidvania style, but it's... I mean that almost as tongue-in-cheek as the, the developers meant basically every, you know, concept in this game. Because there are, like, areas you'll discover that you will not be able to access until you get, uh, more... Or until you get, like, certain upgrades. But it's, it's very, like, it's a very simple Metroidvania, let's put it this way. There were, like, no points in the game where I was stuck and had to go to game FAQs to look up a walkthrough or something. And I would like to reiterate that the game is, uh, is quite short. 
like I said, beat it in a single sitting around 45 minutes to an hour. But you know, for a dollar, that's pretty goddamn good. I mean, think of this in comparison to uh, other games that I've looked at on Xbox Live Indie Games. For example, Are You Smarter Than a Cheerleader? Let's check out this guy's dialogue. I don't want to hurt him. Check out this guy's dialogue. I'm a filler NPC. I have nothing to contribute to the situation at hand. Doesn't even know how he got down here. Now, the thing is, this is a, this game is a platformer, but it kind of like lampshades a lot of the problems that I have with um, with RPGs, where there's like all these NPCs that seemingly have literally no purpose other than to make it seem like an area is populated. And it also, like, I should point out that this game doesn't feel like when it's doing these uh, jokes, like it's doing it maliciously, like, haha, fuck you, Epic Games, Gears of War 3 DLC or something. It's just, it, it's poking fun. It's like a loving, a loving love tap. We do have enough for our double jump. So then we can buy this, which will give us access to more areas so we can collect more coins. And I'm starting to think, you know, maybe I'll collect some more coins. And then I will, um... And talk a bit about my my overall impressions of the game without showing too much more of my actual progress because uh, I think that would be unfair because we are getting like fairly close to where we what I would consider to be like the halfway point of the game. How did I get up, get up there before? I'm not going the right way. So yeah, like I said, currently uh, this is 80 points on Xbox Live Arcade, also available on uh, Desura. Desura? Desura? I don't know, but I'm playing this on the uh, the Xbox Live Indie Games version right now. Uh, and like I said, you got to compare this to other Xbox Live Indie Games that are currently a dollar. So you're looking at things like, are you smarter than a cheerleader? Or, you know, all those silver dollar games where you have to, like, try to keep your cat from eating your cereal by batting on the right analog stick. This is a glorious fucking, like, towering achievement compared to those. It has, like, a deliberate vision. This is what I mean when I say that uh, shortcuts are often... Uh, kind of showcased by these geographical features, but th this is like a, a, a towering Goliath in game design compared to something like like Silver Dollar Games makes. And even though it is a joke, I mean, it, it's totally competent play-wise. But it's not like it's not about the gameplay. The the experience of this game is not the gameplay. The experience of this is is the writing and the the kind of jokes that you come across. Now the pet pack is actually something new. I didn't actually get that. On my first run through the game, so let's go back here, we'll purchase a little bit more DLC. I'll at least purchase the cosmetic DLC. Because, of course, what game would be complete without some on-disc hats or pets that you need to purchase? I guess that that's a, a knock at Fable, the pet DLC. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so let's buy a pet here. Got a goldfish. We got a top hat. It's pretty awesome. Alright, Goldfish does literally nothing. We'll just do a little bit more jumping over here. To kind of demonstrate the why I was going to call this a Metroidvania. Like like I said, we discovered this area earlier, but unfortunately it was inaccessible to us until we actually managed to get our double jumping ability. But there are very, like, there's no puzzles in this game. There's no times when you're going to be stuck unless you're stuck because you, like, miss some coins somewhere. It's very much just like, okay, little bit of gameplay, get to the next joke. Little bit of gameplay, get to the next joke. You're playing it for the ride, man, not for the gameplay. I, my analogy fell apart there, and I apologize for that. But if you guys have feedback on this video, you can send it to ben at goingloudstudios.com. So if you're angry, don't leave a comment. Send an email to Ben and tell him, hey, Northern Lion's an asshole. Can you let's play more uh, Terraria, please? Are you ever going to make Minecraft videos? Etc, etc. So I think I'm basically coming towards the end of this video because, again, I'm getting so close to uh, what I would consider <laughs> almost even some story beats. Uh, but this has been DLC qu Quest. Let's, um, oh, I guess we've got the pause menu. We don't want to exit to the dashboard. Uh, this has been DLC Quest, currently available. 80 points, aka $1 on Xbox Live Indie Games. No idea how much this costs on uh, Desura, but I assume it's... Fairly similar to that. Let's check out our awardments, obviously, achievements here. Missing some. Keep playing to discover these. Kill all the human NPCs and all the sheep. Find all the DLC packs. Purchase all the DLC packs. Collect all the coins. That's unlikely. So yeah, like I said, currently available on Xbox Live Indie Games, Desura. Uh, I'm not sure this is ever going to get a Steam release. Maybe you could email Ben at Going Loud Studios to figure out. Uh, it would be awesome if it did. Uh, but even if not, if you got a, a 360 or you're interested in this game, you should definitely check it out. Like I said, a dollar for a joke? Pretty good deal, and the game itself isn't half bad either. So, as always, 
Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.